on sustainability, customers are very busy. They haven't got time to worry to the extent at which the food has come from the sustainable sources. And quite rightly, they expect that the people supplying them look after that. Sustainability has in recent times become much more important. It's gone up the agenda within Whitby Seafoods and the purpose of the sustainability department within Whitby Seafoods is to ensure that the scampi that we love and enjoy will be here not just now but also in the future. As the leader of scampi industry we feel like our job is to make sure that fishing for scampi remains something that can continue for generations and our mission doesn't start at the factory gate. In quite a big pond at the minute, why is that? Yeah, well, that's small tides this week. It's hundreds of boats that are fishing for this across the UK, Scotland and Northern Ireland and Ireland, and it's a great resource for our country. Over time, we did see a decrease in the whitefish stocks, and the majority of that fleet then transferred onto scampi. So actually, scampi fishing is one of the biggest fisheries. Yeah, and does it fish well? Yes. Aye, aye. Because of the importance of food security in the British Isles, there's never been more research into scampi and the creature and its life cycles so, under the sea. Mike Kaiser, nice to meet you. So scampi lives on the seabed and it creates a burrow for itself and it will remain in that burrow and periodically it will come out of its burrow and that's when fishermen can catch them. So those animals are actually conferred protection by the fact that they live deep within the sediment. So unlike fish, scampi doesn't shoal and it lives under the bottom of the seabed and it only appears every now and again. So the chances of the fishermen, the fishing fleet, the vessels overfishing is negligible. We've been trawling for 60 years in this area. You know, I'm third generation fisherman. 60 years catching prawns, trawling in the seabed. There's more prawns in the Irish Sea now than what there was years ago. Year on year, the fishermen are going back to the same grounds and they're catching the same amount of scampi. So we know broadly that the stocks are not overfished, but we need to also prove that other fish that they might catch at the same time, what, what is the impact on those? Um, the impact onto seabed, what's the impact there? Fishing is part of the food production system. And just like farming, both uh, fishing and farming have impacts on the environment. And of course, what all of us are trying to do is to try and minimise those environmental impacts. In terms of the marine environment, there's a natural concern that trawling will impact the seabed. In actual fact, the nets used to catch scampi have large wheels on them which roll along the seabed so that the net isn't digging in. The ground gear helps protect the seabed and the unwanted species because there are so many gaps. This part here is uh, what is actually in contact with the seabed. There's not actually a lot in contact, to be honest, to try and do as little damage as possible. You know, it means the fishermen can keep coming back year in, year out to the same places and there's been growth because, you know, he wasn't damaging it the year before. When fishermen catch scampi, there are inevitably other species caught at the same time. This is known as bycatch. It would have been much further forward. Oh yeah. There is no incentive for fishermen to want to catch bycatch because it adds time that it takes for them to sort the target species, the scampi, from that catch. And the best thing we can ever do with bycatch is leave it in the sea rather than bring it onto the deck of a ship. So, you know, there's a very big misunderstanding about fishermen. Our main fishery is prawns. That's what we want to catch. We're not interested in fish. We're certainly not interested in small fish. So the industry has, through its own efforts and initiatives, over the years reduced the amount of fish in bycatch. And for the scampi fishery, it's actually really quite low. 
the ones that go back in the sea, 20%. 10, 15 boxes of fish for my whole year. Scampi fishermen have always tried to minimise the bycatch of other species, but now we need to go further. So we are funding and supporting the fishermen to trial new fishing net designs that will not only allow them to catch the same amount of scampi, but reduce the bycatch to almost zero. And for the first time, this camera technology, which allows the fishermen and the scientists to see inside the net what's happening and the fish as they swim up out of the escape holes on the net. We've done a lot of trials with the cameras where you can see the small fish all going out. 60-70% of small fish is being released through the square panels. Most of the stuff that we don't want, compared to 30 years ago, is getting out of the nets. I think the general public need to realise how much the fishermen is working alongside of the industry and the producers to try to make it more sustainable. We want this to work, we need it to work, and it's the only way we can move forward is to all work together to make it sustainable. Coming aboard boats, we've been working a lot to improve sustainability and selectivity, working to understand and improve the process, improve the quality and improve fishing. As a market leader, it's incumbent on us to take the initiative and to make the investments. And I'm confident that this will lead to more vessels using this technology. State-of-the-art vessels. So I've been in this industry 40 years now. And when I started, sustainability was something that was never talked about. Over that 40 years, I've seen the development of very, very positive attitudes. And I think what people should know is, that the fishing industry is probably one of the most invested, it's probably one of the most regulated, and probably one of the most sustainable industries that you can have. One of the things that people don't appreciate is the uh, food element of this. If people stopped eating scampi, where else is that protein coming from? If we compare terrestrial forms of uh, protein production, so beef, for example, pig, chicken production, then seafood production has a much lower environmental impact. And the reason for that is because we don't, in fisheries, have all the input of fertilizers, we don't have the input of pesticides, and of course the fact that all the animals that are caught by wild capture fisheries are free range. Surely that's got to be a good thing. Going out and catching this wildly abundant species that's all around our shores, surely that's the right thing to do.